the counting principle. So what is the counting principle? The counting principle is used to find the number of possible outcomes. It states that if an event has m possible outcomes and another independent event has n possible outcomes, and then there are m times n possible outcomes for the two events together. The counting principle may be extended to three or more events. So that definition seems pretty confusing, right? Let me give you a real life example of how the counting principle is actually used. Maybe you'll understand it a little bit better. Let's say you decide to open up a new uh, ice cream shop. And for $2, you, you allow someone to purchase one scoop of ice cream and one topping. And you want to be able to advertise just how many choices people have. And you have 10 different types of ice cream and 8 different types of toppings. So the question is, how many choices would people have if they're allowed to have one type of ice cream and one type of topping? So again, the main question is, if you could choose one type of ice cream and one topping, how many choices do you have? To find the solution to this problem, you need to multiply the number of ice cream choices by the number of toppings. So if we have 10 types of ice cream, and eight different types of toppings, there'd be a total of 80 different choices. Here's another problem that involves the counting principle. How many different outfits can you create if you buy three different Red Sox shirts, five different hats, and two different pairs of shoes? The way you find the total amount of outfits is you multiply the number of shirts, three, times the number of hats, five, times the number of shoes, 2, and when you do that, you get 30. So there are 30 different possible outfits when you have 3 shirts, 5 hats, and 2 pairs of shoes.